This lesson today was about factoring algebraic expressions, and I had the students put them in pairs. Uh, each group had a different problem, and they had to factor the expression and then write down the steps to the expression. Then I called on um, individual students to give their explanations as we went through and explained or made any. together the process that was needed to factor the expression and they wrote it down. Um, they had to talk to one another to make sure that they had the right steps and that both, they both understood. And then I had them partner up with another group that had the same problem so that they could discuss and make sure that they all understood and they all had uh, basically the same process or if they went through a, something a little bit differently. And then I had them um, go back to their seats and called on each individual in the groups and had them explain part of the problem or part of the process as we went through and made any corrections or brought out any other questions that I needed to at that time. Do what the problem says and all these is factoring. So you're going to factor. Okay. Then on the back, I want you to write the steps, or in other words, explain how you came to that conclusion, that factor. Okay. After we do all that, then we're going to share it. Four x is four x plus twelve, and then factor four x plus twelve. No, I thought she meant like the greatest common factor. That's not this what she said. That's not what she said. Four is the greatest common factor. So four times x is four x. Four times three is. Oh, I got you. I got you. Found greatest G C F of x step two two. Good. Some of you are going right step by step. We have to explain how we get to that. We'll find it. Alright. We found out that out of 5 and 40, the greatest common factor was 5. So the next, we had to see what, like, what could be multiplied by 5 to get 5 and 40. And then we found out that right. then we found out that five can go into X and forty can go into eight. The expression. And then we have to explain how we got our answer, and that's with the. The reason I put them in pairs or sometimes even in groups is that um, some students who are struggling can get a better grasp of the information from another student. They can, uh, they speak in a language all their own um, and they can understand it better from each other than they can from what I've said and that can help one another even more, especially with students who are reluctant to ask questions. Uh, and then it also gives me a chance to walk around and hear their dialogue and to correct any misinformation that they're giving. That's right, we're on, y'all go over there. What about number two? Okay, you two put your desk back, come over here and discuss with these two fellas. No, you just come over here and stand. Number three.
parking and the tickets were X dollars and there are four people get tickets so you would do 4X and then so you would have to do 4X plus the total for parking and that would be 4X plus 12 and then you would get the expression you would have to use the strip of property that would make the expression in parentheses four girls outside the parentheses and they're right which you would have to multiply 4 by 4 Grace common factors 4 step 3 4 divided by 4 is X which is 1 step 4 12 divided by 4 is 3 Step five, put the expression. Step six, four parts to six. Plus 250. All right, Ronald, what'd you get? 50x plus five. 50 times x plus five. Okay. All right, so tell me what you did, Ethan. Um, we made a factor tree. Okay, you used a factor tree. Okay, and found what you used a factor tree for. We found the greatest common factor. Okay, so I will put step one. Use factor tree to find greatest common factor, which was oh, well, 50. Okay. Do you have to use the factor No, you don't have to use the factor tree. Because then this one, I think everybody could look at it and say 8 is the greatest common factor. Wrong. Okay. Yeah, you just divide both of them by 50. 50 divided by 50 is X. 